Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition 2 Alpha 9. Oh, yes, 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 we have a new update. The Search for the Stolen Staff, I believe it's called. And there is a staff which has gone missing, apparently. Suspected theft, I believe, going from that. That's... That's as much as I've looked into that. However, I have had a quick look at the change logs, and it seems like there's been a few uh, minor changes, a few major changes. We have new characters. They've brought back the Abomination. Oh, lovely. I can't wait to see how many Trek members he's going to, or she's going to, or it's going to eat. And um, yes, there's uh, new characters with the Avalon Society. There's new items. There's new uh, wearable items. Uh, there's... Um, all sorts, all sorts. More importantly, though, is they've actually introduced the new story mission for the end of 1887, the uh, the Act 2, which has got something to do with the director going missing. So I think the way we're going to play it, because we're quite deep into this one, I'm not just going to give it up because I want to see how far we can get. However, when the group perishes, I believe you can start afresh with a new group from that point in time. However, we're going to start from the beginning. I will skip the tutorial section, but we'll start from 1886 and just see what's changed. And we'll possibly go with a different academy as well, just to see what they've got to offer and just have a general del delve in. But I digress. I mean, I say I digress. We might die in this episode. We don't know. Let's find out, shall we? We are currently looking for uh, a huge, huge monster, apparently. We've, we've come from this direction and, and we're heading in this direction. I mean, you can tell. By the shape of the purples that this is a, a rather large rather large rather rather large cavern island style place so i think what we need to do is head to the trader see what he's packing and then we'll we'll take on the two question marks here uh being a spider of some sort it's going to be in a cave so either these are good candidates so we might as well make our way down see what's around and take it from there so what are we on 61 fame Oh, yes, we have a treasure map. Oh, we said that's right at the start, didn't we? Just there. Just there. I mean, if we can get through at the bottom, I might just snatch back to see what we've got. Um, I believe once we kill the spider, we've got to head back anyway. We're doing okay for whiskey at the moment. I mean, some more food would be nice. Uh, we do have a cook. We might have to use him. But anyway, let's get to that trader. What you got? To my surprise, I encountered a colourfully dressed travelling merchant. He gave a wide grin when he saw me, placing a bulging pack full of wares on the ground. Oh! He proudly presented us with a selection of his wares. It seems that he had somehow acquired goods from the west out here in the wild. Thief, I tell you. Why the hell are we carrying a desk? I mean, out of all the things to be carrying about, a trunks? Fine. A wooden chest? Okay. A toolbox? Most necessarily. But a desk? A desk. I'm not going to say anymore. Right, so, oh, we have a pitch pot. A pot of sticky pitch can be set alight for a long lasting flame. Oh. Okay, then. I mean, other than that, I mean, what, what's this? What are you? Bag of treats. A pouch containing delicious animal treats to be given as a reward for good behavior. Uh, no, I'm good. However, the chocolate is enticing. Uh, Storm Lantern. Search challenge bonus plus three. What are you then? Blinding Light is a stun. Or boost is a vulnerability. Oh no, the, the boost is for that. Um, Searing Light, damage for burning for. With a possible boost of plus six times two. Mm, it's alright. It's alright. I mean, what would I swap though? What would I swap? I, we've got... Uh, view distance, which is necessary. We've got combat rolls, very necessary. Max anti plus 14. We'll probably give that up. Travel base cost 37 because we keep upgrading it. And carrying capacity of 3. I mean, yeah, we could probably get rid of the clover. What are you like? Shotgun, not that good. Hmm, and there's a saddle on dynamite, you know. I mean, we've got an awful lot of stuff here. What would we trade? Uh, I mean, I could get rid of the crystal splinters. They're not worth a lot, are they? Jeweled scepter. Nice. Uh, spider legs. 
Moonstones, ancient device. A small intricate device made by the Palikau. Oh, yes. Seems designed to slot into a larger piece of machinery. You never know when you're going to need those. So if we give the Storm Lantern a go. Because we can always upgrade it. How much was that worth? 65. If we give you the rabbit's foot. Oh, it's already in the plus. That's good. That's good. Let's go for a little bit of chocolate as well then. So um, let's get rid of the... Oh, we've got betel nuts. Yeah, I still kind of want something to help protect us. Let's go to the animal teeth and see how many chocolates we can build up. Uh, do you take one? Two? Three? Leaves us with one. That'll do. Our business concluded. I ventured into the wilderness once more. Okay. So, uh, we are overburdened. Uh, that's fine, though. Uh, I, I figure... I figure, I figure, I figure. Hmm, maybe I should have traded them. Maybe I should have traded them. Uh, we, well, what are we on? 55? Well, let's eat the chocolate. I mean, it's there to be eaten. Let's do it. Awesome. All uh, right, let's go and uh, can we get through there? I don't think we can, can we? We'll go and have a look, see. It's not that far to travel. I mean, I say we can't. There is one thing I have completely forgotten about here. Howdy ho. Hey? I still can't get through? How big was that? Wow. Again? Am I missing something here? Oh, nosy. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Excuse me, Mr. Trader. Excuse me. Do you have a sale on your on your dynamite still? You do. I'll take them. Have some vessel nuts. There we go. Awesome. Right, so back in this direction. That 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 wasn't very good. Let's try this again. Right. So that that is a gap. Is that a gap? So should we try it on here? What? It's a stone wall. Does that mean it's not going to blow up? Because if so, that sucks. All right, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to go back for the treasure. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, one would argue that we've got enough already. Uh, oh, it's a waterfall without the water. Unless it's facing the other way around, that is. Uh, let's wait. This waterfall was quite enormous. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water was fresh and cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's rest. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here to recuperate. The mood was buoyant as I ordered wood to be gathered for a fire. As we were laying out of our bedrolls, I noticed that the green bushes fire framing our camp looked somehow familiar. Okay. Taking a closer look, I recognized the leaves. This was a cocoa plant. Knowing of their uplifting effects, I gathered what I could before we went to sleep that night. Yeah, Yo, you're not going to be sleeping if you're on cocoa plants. That's for sure. Cocaine party for the group. Huzzah. Hundred and four. Oh, you know something else we haven't done? Uh let's uh, just gather this for a second. Doop -doop -doop -doop. It was you. Oh Oh bugger. I thought that was a Oh wow, I've just gonna mess things up completely now. Oh, lordy. I mean... Oh, booger. You know what? You know what? Here's an interesting thing. Let's try... Seems I've messed up royally here. Let's try uh, giving you the lantern. Because we've got the extra green there. Uh, and we'll keep hold of the machete and see if it makes a difference as far as being able to cut through stuff is concerned. That's the only way I can see to rectify my very large mistake. But that's fine. As we completely <laughs> laid by the fire, Lai Ji began to good-naturedly demand a story of my travels. I tried modestly to demure, but he was quite insistent. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh. 
Well, that's not very good, is it? Oh, I'm going to have to refuse. In in the tent, Lyji had to be satisfied, satisfied without any story. I can see the disappointment on his face, but some things are too private. My past would remain my own. Ah, uh, mysterious. That's what we like. Just a closed book. Oh, we've got a steady light. I have no idea what that means. Sounds good, though. Uh, and we are good. So, uh, what the hell steady light? Your gear provides a small shining light. View distance plus 35. Wow. Okay. Well, if I stack, we are laughing. Let's uh, let's go and have a look and see what this is. Oh, there's a centipede. Oh, it's the monster's lair. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm going to try and take on the centipede first. Oh. Come on, centipede. Hey. Right, let's do the centipede first. Have that. 180. Right. Roll it. So. Oh. So they've changed the boost now. Interesting. In fact, they've changed it all. That's... That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I, what does that mean as far as boost? Oh, it highlights what counts as a boost now as well. That's, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, cool. Well, um, I mean, damage four with a boost. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use just the one on this. And we shall hit them. Awesome. So vulnerability is high. And then we're just going to go in for as hard as we can. I think it makes sense to put the... Um, the coming get it on. So he only attacks our sailor. Uh, not too fussed by that, actually. Let's just use the one. And then we've got that. Which, so damage of bleeding of plus eight. If we boost... Spread Blast. That's eight as well, plus one random injury. All right, so we're going to boost the fisticuffs. 80. Nice. Uh, we'll try re-rolling. Mm. I mean... Ha! <laughs> Not ideal, but that's fine. Let's throw this tonic. We're holding on to it. 64. Nine left, so he's going to attack our sailor, I presume, and get a punch for it. Hey! Awesome. So, um, our sailor is a little bit healthy -er now. I'll take it all. Uh, let's cook up the meat. I mean, there's no reason. Uh, what? Oh, I thought it was mold. <laughs> it's, a, it's a gourmet meat, supposedly, with salad, for, apparently. I'm guessing it's from the trees around the area. Plus nine. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, cocoa leaves. I'm not really needing that right now. Uh, we might as well just go to the monster lair. I mean, we could have a look, see in this direction, I suppose. We've got plenty of sanity. We know where we're going now. Don't think we're going to find anything, but we'll have a quick look. We haven't searched this far yet. There is a question mark. There is a question mark. Let's go around. So I presume that it'll fall through. No, that's fine. Right, let's approach the shrine. We arrived at a majestic stone structure. A large building loomed in front of us. I could hear the gurgle of slow-moving magma nearby. Oh dear. Inside was a small empty chamber, a long hallway leading to the main altar. My eyes flitted to and fro, searching for traps. Well, that's how it looks here, I suppose. Um, I mean... Yeah? I'm quite happy to throw in the uh, the die just to make sure. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Better loot. As I ran my hand over the rough surface of a wall, a string of arcane runes flared to life, seeming to carve themselves into the stone before my very eyes. What's it say? I studied the writing. My mind become 
becoming strangely focused. I found myself speaking words I'd never heard before, chanting their strange song against my will. I lost consciousness briefly when I came to an inner glow suffused my being. Blessing of capacity. Oh. What be that? Plus two, but only for 20 days. All right, well, it was free, I suppose. I considered the main chamber once more. I could see rivers of lava through cracks in the floor stones. The rising heat almost unbearable. Well, let's have a look, I guess. Oh! All right, so crystal geode, all good. Silver uh, jewels get uh, scepter, even. Good. What are you? Ancient device. A small, intricate device made by the Palakau. Seems designed to slot into a larger piece of machinery. Let's take it all. As we took the treasure, the ground started to melt. We fled as the shrine collapsed behind us and pools of lava began to bubble where it stood, flowing inexorably downhill. Oh, nosy. I'm curious because those are made by the Palakau. Where is it? I did pick it up, right? I took it all. Because I've got the geode. Where it be? Unless it's part of the story. I have no idea. Okay, well we can't dwell on it right now. We are being chased by lava. Uh, let's uh, let's go this way. Doop -doo. To there! Run away! Run away, trader, if you know what's good for you. Unexpected event infected. Without access to medical equipment, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Bernard Hargier's wound had begun to fester and secrete an astonished degree of pus. Nice! So it actually tells you when something's going to go on as opposed to just throwing you into it. Cool. However, we're all right. There we go. I mean, how injured is everyone? We're about to go into a big fight, so we probably should check on people. Uh, so 86 and 95, 51 and 60, 65 and 65, 46 and 55, 55 65. Right, so let's use the medical. Uh, we are going to heal up Josiah because he's our tank. Um, and I'm going to leave the other one just in case we do need to head back after we've finished here. Uh, so let's approach the monster's lair, I suppose. We've got dynamite we can use. I approached the mouth of the cave trepidatiously. Not sure what to expect. Or trepidatiously, I suppose. Uh, bones littered the area and a foul beasted or scent filled my nostrils. It seemed that the mist had some basis in reality. It was clear that whatever waited inside was no ordinary animal. Oh, maybe I should have kept a torch. Never mind. Uh, let's explore. We're all right. We know what we're doing. We eat our carrots, you see. We'll just follow our nose. Moving carefully, I made my way into the cave. After some time, my eyes adjusted and I was able to make out my way ahead. The stench grew stronger as I proceeded into the bowels of the cave and it wasn't long before I saw the outline of a great beast. Oh, lordy! It seemed the mist were true and the figure that loomed before me was truly the creature of legend. I mean, why would you sneak out? Is it because they think we're not ready? Ah! Uh, bringing a trophy of the great thing would provide the proof that I'd come here to find. Hit him. Oh, come on. We've taken out giant centipedes H harder than this. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You know what? I'm going to throw in the costume flare. Just for a laugh. Um, let's do that. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's put on the tally-ho first. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to boost it. So vulnerability of 100. I'm then going to throw in the cost and flare. Along with the precise strike. To get 15 burning I think that is. Burning of 10. Okay. Uh, then we're going to put. Well. Hmm. No. We're going to roll. Let's roll. Uh, then we'll put on a second burning, because why the hell not? 
Uh, we shall put up the target. Uh, just with a little shield. Nothing major. Uh, we will then... Uh, 21 plus the stun. How many hits you got next? Lay egg. Lay egg. So probably... Crowd control is probably going to be a good thing. So let's... Let's throw on a stun. Bugger. Or not. Uh, Fisty cuffs it. And shoot it. Oh, I didn't even have a chance to lay an egg. Didn't even have a chance. I mean, where's the trophy? There's no trophy. I'll take it all. The creature was ferocious, but I had proven myself against it. My grizzly trophies would soon hold a place of honour in the museum at the Taishi Academy. Awesome. Fortune and glory. Hooray! Lots of expo tickets. Uh, return provisions. I mean, I, I doubt it will go up a rank here. Lots of whiskey. That's good. And we all survived. You know, we were doing all right without a pack animal. You do wonder at times, but... Look at these treasures. Look at them go. Yeah, nowhere near. That's fine. Well, all right, what are we going to have perky-wise? We've got Hunter's Cunning. Grants additional re-rolls in combat. We have Spiritual Solidarity. Allows resting for free missions. And we have Trauma Care. Heals the party slightly after combat. I'm okay with Trauma Care right now. I mean, because I've buggered up, we don't have a re-roll. And two re-rolls were pretty handy. But resting for free in missions would be good too. But then again, we're going to be in combat a lot more than we are resting in, in missions. So let's do the Hunter's Cunning. And then we've offset me being a silly bugger. I returned to Paris on the grounds of the Exposition Universelle. It felt strange to see so many people after my absence. Okie dokie. It seems agreed to take hold of the Royal Avalon Society. They were asking explorers to dig up as much something over dig up a thousand buried treasures to win. Put yourself at the Avalon Club Hall. Right, so it's not academy wide then now, I suppose. Dig up as much buried treasure as possible. I mean we'll give it a give it a whirl. Why not? Why not? Let's join the challenge. I mean it's a pirate hat. I dig a pirate hat. I dig a pirate cap. Right, uh, I think I'm done here for the time being. Let's have a quick look at the group. Uh, I don't think we've got anything too negative. I mean, people hate each other, but what can you do about that? What can you do about that? I think we need to upgrade somebody i mean we've got the sailor he'd have a bit more help sorry health um naval flare cooldown will be a little bit low i suppose or we can have the reduced damage from supernatural enemies which is permanent uh, and they're, they're super in love uh let's 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 promote I mean, what are supernatural enemies? No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna buff up Josiah, I think. Naval flare cooldown minus ten. Okie dokie. Well that'll do. Um Yes. Yes. Alright, so we've done X marks the spot, that is fine there. Uh Taishi Academy, we've got nothing to offer right now. I think we better go and see the equipment dealer. I found the dealer skulking in the dark alleyway. He rubbed his hands together devilishly oh, as I came closer. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, we have the Storm Lantern. Hmm. Uh, we've got the Machete, level 3, Shotgun, Meat Cleaver. And that's about it. I mean... I could have another Crucifix. Um, I mean, I've got both of these. I'm, I'm trying to experience as much of the game as I can. Uh, and um, with all these, which, well, we've essentially got anyway, I don't think it's really worth it at this point. Uh, let's go to the pub. I breathed in deep, enjoying the smell of old wood and good wine. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to leave for a second. It's called something else now. We've got the Boussole Casser. 
So Cassia? Cassia? Busol Cassia? I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I let the familiar sights and sounds of the Busol Cassia wash over me. Uh, let's use available. I gave word that I was looking for adventurous sorts to join my expedition. Soon I gathered a small set of candidates to choose from. So, we have one of the new additions from Alpha 9. The Roma Trader. Decreases prices an awful lot when bartering. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Uh, they got a distraction. And cunning trade. Duplicates plus one. Duplicate one dice. Oh. That's interesting. I mean, what's their capacity? Two. Decreases prices an awful lot when bartering. And we, we barter a lot. We barter a lot. Um, who would I get rid of? Uh, so you're a given. You're pretty good. We need the cook. You're good with shooting. Oh, dear. I mean... Really, it's Lyge, if anyone, isn't it? Precise strike. All the way through. And what do you have again? Green and blue. No, arguably, we need green and blue anyway. Anyway, okay, this is this is how this is going to pan out. We are going to take on the Roma trainer, uh, uh, trader. Roma Wood. She's a Roma called Roma. Uh, Roma Wood smiled warmly and bowed, her jewelry jangling quietly. I welcomed her gladly to the team. Okie dokie. So. I presume I'm overburdened. I have too many people now. Although it's not telling me I've got to get rid of someone. So. Um, for the sake of. Keeping that as is. Let's just keep it as is for the time being. Uh, we're going to go back to the Royal Avalon. Uh, we're going to cure an ailment on Roma. She looked over Roma Wood and inquired which ailment needed attention. It's a superstition. We can't be dealing with superstition right now. Miss Farley gently asked me to leave so that she might be alone with Roma Wood. Ha he ha. And cool. Uh, I mean, I don't think we've unlocked anything. Nope. Uh, how's the challenge going? 66 out of a thousand. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Um, Taishi Academy. Anything worth buying? Cripple on body. Zero sanity event chance per step. Protects against ill looking evil influences. You know what? Now is a time to buy something like that, I, I think. I also have the Art of War, an ancient text. On how to approach battle with wisdom and cunning. Combat sanity plus seven. So I presume that means once we've been in combat, we get plus seven sanity off it. You know what? I like the sandalwood bracelet. 15 tokens. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Uh, coming back to moi. Who's got it? You. There we go. So now I would presume, because of the zero sanity event chance... Per step. I mean, it's only half a percent, but hmm, better than now. Better than now. Can we upgrade anything? I mean, how many tickets do we have? Fifteen. Uh, so, uh, ooh, we could do the sentimental photo. I feel like this has all been rejigged a little. It seems a little bit cheaper. Crucifix. Max Anti plus 14. As opposed to... Oh, that's actually not a major step up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Spiked Club is a definite hit of nothing, apparently. Um, let's uh, look, keep on looking. So we've got plus 5 there, but we can't upgrade it. No, no, no. Storm Lantern. We get an extra green. An extra search challenge bonus for the beads. 0.6%. You know what? We're going to go with the lantern. The engineer impatiently took on the task and soon my item had been noticeably improved. 
awesome and uh i think that's it there so let's get started on this and then we'll finish it here act three placeholder oh nosy in a future ex uh, version of ce2 this will be an exciting custom story expedition ends the current year so uh, we're gonna stick with tai chi because why the hell not hey look at that they spin and they pop in and out that's pretty cool it's also going to make it a lot easy, easier to Photoshop these guys. Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Taishi it is. X marks the spot. You're currently pledged to Avalon's challenge. Working for another club will not increase your progress here. Oh, well, I'm not first. That's fine. I decided to indulge in a few drinks the night before the expedition was to depart. A quiet night. The air smelled of wine and fresh bread. It was times like these that I treasured the most. I decided to order another bottle of red. This was a good night. So. What are we doing? That's the question. What are we doing? As I neared the site of the expedition, a small supply ship pulled alongside. I wonder what the Taishi Academy had in store for me. I don't know. It's exciting. Oh, we have a sale. Firecrackers. Usable on the map. Makes quite a racket. What does that mean? What does it do? I have no idea. What are you? Haggle. Reduces the cost of trading. Nice. So. Minus 11. Ooh. I mean, at this point, I should probably scrap something. I mean, we'll get rid of the meat, can't we? We're not fussed by those. We've still got the medical kit as well. Awesome. Uh, we're going to have uh, two medical kits. Uh, we are going... Ooh. Ooh. That is useful. We're going to have all of those. Uh, we are going to need... I'm sure it left 112. Five of those leaves me seven. Uh, I've got no torches. That's going to cost me six. I mean, there's nothing else to sell, really, is there? I could get rid of the machete. I mean, it's only minus two. It's not a lot. Why not? Give me more whiskey. It's going to be a long journey. Uh, oh, you know what? I haven't found the haggling yet. There we go. Um, to which point? Stimulant capsules. I mean, a few more torches wouldn't go amiss. Understanding tonic. Probably worth taking. Another medikit wouldn't go amiss either. So we've got shovels. Can I take any more? I can. Ha ha ha. Uh, shovels. Why not? These move seven. Another torch. Let's spend it all like we're not going to come back. My equipment chosen. I considered if there was any more yet to be done before I landed on the island. Uh, we'll grab some water because we don't know where we're going. And uh, let us begin. Looking to gain an edge in knowledge, the Taishi Academy had ordered a thorough survey of the island using the latest scientific methods. Ah, lovely. So we should know where we're going. We have too many Trek members. Thought so. Drylands. Nice. So. Oh, it's a big one. I mean, I'll say it's a big one. It's not that big. Goes quite far down. Uh, however, we need to uh, drop somebody off. So, uh, Lige, it's been a pleasure. I mean, I know you're in love. I know you're in love. Who do you hate? Bernard Hardier. Uh, We're going to lose sanity, aren't we? Oh, well. Never mind. Perhaps it was time to send Lige on his way. It is. Sorry. Stand the boat. When I announced the dismissal of Lai Bernard Hardier looked at me in disbelief. This is not happening! With a trembling voice, Bernard Hardier asked me why I wanted to let go of G. I tried to explain my reasoning rationally when Bernard Hardier interrupted me. He was furious. Bernard Hardier shouted at me passionately. If I went through with this, both Lee and Bernard Hardier would leave. Oh, lordy. I'm going to have to try and convince him to say, stay. Um, we need the cook. I'm going to throw one in. 
Oh lord, this is not going to end well, is it? Oh, we did it! We did it! Hooray! I explained that I would be quite hurt myself if Bernard Harjay left. Reluctantly, he stayed with me. Decreased loyalty. I mean, how much of a hit is it, really? Three out of four. That's all right. I can live with that. And uh, this is where we shall leave the episode. So next time around, we're surveying the island. And the nice thing is we do have the points already, so we can factor in some sort of plan, if ever there was a time to make a plan. And, uh, well, we'll see what this island holds for us. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy.